Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Unto Dawn and where did we last stop? Let's get into it. <coughs> right, you have to remind me that, that, was that I killed her. That could be a lot of things. None of them nice. Quit it. <laughs> Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have fun. Yeah. In the dark. How you do this? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, Jessica! Man. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Shit. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? It was a bad episode for me. Six more hours unto dawn. Jesus. Okay, Mike. That's not good. Let's do this. That's really not good. At this point of time, he's just full of dirt, man. And I bet a good shower is all he wants right now. But no! He pursues the murderer. Asking for death. And let's go! I'm not gonna explore crazy much. So I'm just gonna do get on with it. And go straight for the front door. Let's do this. And get Mike killed. Most probably. Okay, what's that? I see something. Awesome. On them. Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? Lawful for any person to use occupied structure. Great, man. this guy uses it. Okay. Let's check it out. Okay. Feeding them. Bones? What the hell is that? Alright, oh, and then he tries to open it. Okay. 
Reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Blackwood Pines ABA reporter from Evada Bogo was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security personnel at Blackwood Sanitary. Chuck Burstein, a senior news reporter, was seeking an interview with the miners dramatically rescued on Tuesday. The man has been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural collapse. Three weeks! Okay. Blackwood Sanatorium for Malnutrition and Trauma. Yeah, naturally, right? Jefferson Bragg, so proprietor of both the Northwest Mining Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium, told the Google yesterday that the incident was unfortunate oh well, and that a full internal inquiry has been launched. He also claimed that Burstein has been trespassing on sanitarium grounds without permission. It is believed that the assault arose from an argument about Burstein's camera which was confiscated immediately prior to the attack. Okay, interesting. And Mike has the time to actually read the article, despite being in a creepy place. I can't get past there. Oh, rats. Literally rats. And more article. One of those guys actually tried to bite. I'm gonna report the bowl. What guys? Attending physician Dr. N. F. N. H. Bowen. Medical report report follows re the initial state of the term miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines. Admittance on the receipt of the twelve patients at sanatorium's medical facility we had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men, staff and confused. Thankfully the miners appeared and relatively healthy attributed to the apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Inhabited respiratory function was detected in a few of the older men as predicted as well as symptoms of pneumonia. That's really bad. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group. Though the outward health is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mine. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off a wing of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone and bronchoscopy and are prescribed a course of means mycin. The others are simply kept under strict 24-hour observation. This sounds really crazy. Dr. Nicholas Henry follows this moment. Okay. I have a feeling that another jump scare is just waiting round the corner. Okay, let's go now. Scratch your head, sure, you're dirty as hell. Now, and my in 
which thing always makes me want to explore the place but in this game there's not much to explore I'm gonna get Mike killed then. No, what the hell is that? This is some kind of torture chamber, right? Dude, you're not seeing this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this what he was feeding them? I know I should have lived leave that shit alone. More crazy stuff. Something tells me I shouldn't open this one. No. Okay, something's there. Nicholas Bowen. Okay, I type an inmate fatal laceration to throat. Some fingers. That's really not good, isn't it? My, what have you got yourself into? Oh man! Oh my God! <laughs> 
Save my life, I guess. Okay, what else is there? Okay, what's that? Ah, uh, cigar. The stogie stash exposed. Those are human meat, man. No? Okay. Okay, I don't have the necessary tools to pick the lock. Could 
he be innocent? I'm not really sure, you know. There could be more than one. For all you know. Okay, what's that? So, what have we here? I didn't intend to do that so many times. But let's see if I can break the locks with the gun that I just got. Could be it, right? Okay. It's kinda loud. But here goes. Hear the sound. That's the most disgusting thing you can actually step on, to be honest. Blood. So I have a feeling that I will have to play this game a couple of times to probably get a perfect ending which is everyone's life. So far Jessica and Josh is dead. It's all my fault that I couldn't save them. This sanatorium is the creepiest sanatorium you ever been, man. This is the last place that I would ever want to go. And here, here is Mr. Mike exploring this creepy place by himself. Okay, jump scares. Of course, locked. Okay. 
Whoa. No way. Was that what that was all about? Hey. Going on. Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. Of course. Come on, Matt, let's go. I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you, you can, can never, never unsee them. them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. Actually, I have to say that Emily might be true, you know. Look, an axe. I feel better with an axe. Wait a minute. Where does the axe come from? Oh, I have a lot of clues now. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt! We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! What? The window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. No, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Emily, you have to get... I won't fit, but you will. You have to get there. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. <laughs> uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Think again, lughead. No can do. For one thing, that maniac is probably just sitting there under that window waiting to blend us into pina coladas. <laughs> okay, fine. Here goes. I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! Sure. <laughs> okay. Knock, knock. We're coming through. The lights still work? Awesome. Damn. What happened? This is crazy. We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's gotta be the guy, the, the one who who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's gotta know this is the only way back. Don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You. You can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, him. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't <laughs> jump that, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know. Why everything is like so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Really did a number on this joint. Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now. Okay, that is the sanatorium. There's a tower, a cable car. Hey, look, fire tower. Hey, Magellan. Maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Says on the wall, die. Very friendly. <sighs> Unfollow. <laughs> Unfollow. Uh, I need a key, I guess. Great. 
No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? What? I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? You never Probably, know. Yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. Uh, okay, let's go. We can use the radio to call for help. But somebody's gotta pick up the signal. Wow, Matt, good call. Radio, so smart. Why are you being so bitchy? <laughs> We're in a serious situation Well, here. Matt. Easy. <laughs> I agree with you and you're being bitchy. That, that sounds about right. Um. Oh, hold up. What? <sighs> what is it, um? <laughs> What's cooking? Good looking? Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. <sighs> I hope you fall though. <coughs> Come on, hurry up, bitch. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Come with me, buddy. Yeah, sure, let's go. And just like magic, come on down. We can totally get out here this way. Oh, you should die. Man. You're right. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um you should go first to protect me. <laughs> Piece of shit. Okay. Okay. Easy now. You will still fall him. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Come on, him. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Holy cannoli, thank god that's over. Yeah, for real. Just when you think it's over. Think again. Oh my god. What if it doesn't work? What? The radio. It'll work. But, okay, if it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe... We can just climb down. <laughs> climb down what? The mount. Are you serious? You're nuts. What's the big deal? It, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find. Come on, guys. Spot. You guys have to kill the psychopath. Hold on, it out. It, it'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. Oh, that's true. Then again, he probably can see everything happening on a mountain. Dude, this psychopath owns this place, man. L1 to move faster. Fast, but uh, hey, death totem. Oh, fortune totem. What does that mean? This totem doesn't really help, man. Oh, that's where they died, up. man. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. <laughs> Matt, what is that? Yeah, I want to go too, man. I don't know. Oh my Jesus. god. <laughs> Why would they do that? Are they both gonna die? Come on! Switch? Someone 
one's behind you, Claire Bear. Oh, I mean, Sam. that doesn't know what's going on, right? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. <laughs> okay, time to put on some clothes and survive. Hmm. Hey, a few rounds. So she must be the survivor here. Oh, Pete's sakes, my clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. So you have no clothes. The typical horror. Chris? One tower thingy. Josh? What the hell? Not even three. What a stupid clock. Oh, wait a minute, what's that? Chris? What's that? Mike? Emily? Hello? This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, alright? You had enough? Shouldn't be shouting so loud, Sam. Okay, the balloons. Can I have my clothes back now, or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? Towel it is then. <laughs> yeah, you look sexy in a towel. Okay, down to death. So we shall be. How is she still wet with the towel on me? Okay, what's this? Let's check it out. Okay, I thought I saw this before. If you were trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. Oh man, I can't even talk. This is the last place that I should be though. Why am I going down? Oh man, it's probably part of the story. Where the hell are you guys? Uh, some of them are dead. Oh, this is I'm there, uh, surviving. Oh man. Hey, guys, come on! Oh, I'm done with this. I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here. <laughs> okay, freaky time. Hello, Samantha. Looking for me. I don't think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what I want you to see. Cycle. And I have quite a lot to show you. What is going on? Open your eyes. Oh my god. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? What are you doing out there? A beautiful bathing bird. Do you think she has any idea what lies ahead? 
You think these were the last happy moments of this creature's Why life? Showing this to me. Why are you watching? Josh! How does it make you feel? Seconds. Oh my god. Nine. No, 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 no. Seven. Please, no. Whoa. Sam. Run. Come on, come on, come on. Um, let's go. <laughs> Sam, you're gonna survive, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Quick time event, let's go. Just run, man. Are you kidding me? No handle? Come on, Sam, come on! up again did I now that was exciting wasn't it well done the game seems to be going very well so I'm probably Sam and this guy is probably talking yes. to me all the good work we did exploring the source of your fear and you've just gone and used it for ill your overwhelming fear of isolation. You have turned it against these people who use it desperately want to torment. Has it been worth it? So I'm the cycle? Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, guys. It's been a crazy episode and a tiring one i hope you guys enjoyed this video this game is killing me but i am going to finish it once and for all and maybe even replay it for a better ending i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next video peace